I made friends with wolves. Did you not see my pictures? I saw you went to the, on the hike, but. I, I went to a wolf sanctuary and I got to make friends with the wolves and they gave me kisses. I did like my whole Sansa Stark living my best life thing. It was great. It's like saying you're making friends with a velociraptor. They were so sweet and gentle, though. That's because they're well fed. Yes. And they live in a sanctuary. Um, like if the kibble runs out, your night is done. Oh, they don't give them kibble. They give them like meat. You know, yeah. You know what I mean? You are. But they were so sweet. You're just less convenient meat. When you become. And I learned that if a wolf wants to lick your face, you kind of have to let them. <laughs> because otherwise it's like bad wolf etiquette to turn down their kisses. So if they try to lick your face and you turn away, they won't like you. They'll get offended. So usually I'm like, okay, no licking faces when I meet someone's dog. But the wolves, I was like, all right, do, do your thing. They are not dogs. They are they are they are like to like dogs are to wolves what like pygmy marmosets are to gorillas. Those things are they're huge, and they really have surprisingly fresh breath. They're like horses big. They they like they come up to like about here. They're big. Some of them, not all of them. One of the two that I met, the, there was a male uh, Arctic wolf. He was all white and he was very, very big and he liked me very much. <laughs> and usually they said he loses interest with people, but he just like wanted to hang out with me the whole time I was there. OK, well, Terry, you which, just... you know, Sansa Stark's wolf was also, I think, like white or light gray. So I was very excited about that. OK, but you also smell like five cats. They did, they were, like, both of the wolves were <laughs> sniffing my jeans. They did find the smell of my jeans fascinating. Okay, then. But no, they're just very sweet. They're, they're ambassador wolves. So, like, they actually, these two are leash trained. And, like, they take them to schools and stuff to teach people about wolves and reintroducing them. Mm. They're, they were very sweet babies. Each week, Catherine and Radio Dead Air audience go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Hey, back here from Seven, we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? This first one. Well, this is the mugshot of the week. That's for damn sure. Um, I'm crazy for sometimes in life, there's a man. Sometimes, well, sometimes there's a man. This guy. I mean, that's horrifying enough, really. <laughs> oh, I look boy. forward to your comments. Here we go. Um, I don't have any better segue to start, except let's just get going. This guy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I wondered indeed. if we would get this one. Oh, yeah. And I have a little idiot back there trying to climb shit again. Charlie. You were not a goat. Stop trying to climb walls. It might be. So yeah, this is this is a magical, just utterly beautiful mugshot on this gentleman here. Yeah. Uh this is Jason. That is like if 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 chaos was a mugshot, this would be it. I am going to say this so wrong. I already know it. Jason Bruce Kewitz? Did I say that right? Bris Briskowitz? Briskowitz? Briskowitz. Why is there why is there a Z right after the R? I there's a there are three Z's in that name. Yeah. There's the his, dude's got It's just the one that really is flummoxing me. It's yeah. just the two consonants in a row that don't go. The rest is fine. B R Z U S Z K I E W I C Z. He's got this guy is a scrabble answer, is what it's, he is. Gotta be Briskowitz. That Briskowitz? would that would win your game of Scrabble right there yeah. with the Ken and the Z's that and guy. wow. Forty nine year old man from New York was arrested in Florida this week after he was allegedly filmed driving his pickup truck 
into onto a closed beach and then steering directly into the ocean where he thought he, where he could be seen riding along the shoreline and attempting to do donuts in the surf. I was taken into custody on Tuesday, shortly before the video of his escapade went viral on social media. Uh, sheriff's office also shared a video of the incident filmed by a witness at the scene. According to the agency's Facebook page, the footage appears to show uh, Briskowitz cruising down the beach about 15 feet from the shoreline as small waves break in the driver's side of the white. Where's the there? Here we go. Let's get the video on here. You don't need audio. There he goes. Hey, Jared, there you go. Taking the truck surfing. That's how that works. Um, that's that's how that's not going to work anymore. Oh no, that car is fucked. That car is utter. Yeah, good fucked. luck. Good luck with the insurance claim on that one. <laughs> when told he should not have okay, uh, Briskowitz, who seemed to be uh, using his hat to hide his face, could be heard shouting, "It's not my fault. The truck don't surf." When told he should not have been driving it, on the beach. It is your fault that you tried. When told he should not have been driving the beach, Briskowitz replies, I thought I was in England. Oh. The, the deputy tells them they are, in fact, not in England, to which Briskowitz replies, are we not in Kansas anymore? The deputy replies with a simple, no. This is like he's like giving callbacks to like secret agent responses and shit, you know? The sun is shining, but the yeah. ice is slippery. What the? F Can I get in trouble for that? Briskowitz asks. Yeah, the deputy says. Dude. I mean, the beach was closed. Yeah. Like, which well, is better than if the beach was open because you would have run over some people. Even if the beach is not closed, you don't drive in the ocean for no. many reasons. It's not going to work. I mean, it's not. And why? There's no ocean in Kansas. No. I know. I know the reference you were making. But that's. But not... there's no ocean there. There's no surfing in Kansas. Charlie, don't surf. Um, that's just it. He's so happy, though. That is a wonderful yeah. mug shot. That is a fucking that mug is... shot. But that is a man who has given up. <laughs> this, is the, this is going to be a Jack Black movie in five years. Because we're going to find out that this man, like, I lost mean, his job, I'm, found out he was born without kidneys, I'm and not, just decided. I'm not going to lie. Dude does bear a resemblance to when I get up in the morning and bedhead and shit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Although I don't, I can't tell if that's a Gorbachev or if he hit his head. It's it's hard to tell. For the implant went. For the <laughs> aliens put it. He got he got the bad he got the trainee doing the probes. Uh. <sighs> no, no explanation for this whatsoever. Just guy drives into the into the ocean doing donuts. That's a not a bad truck either. I'm kind of pissed. Waste not my fault. Truck. The truck don't surf. Doesn't that kind of sound like a bad country song? <laughs> <laughs> Travis Tritt or some shit. Yeah. Well, um, my girl, she done left me, and I told her. It's not my fault. The truck don't, sir. We're going from one end of the uh, mugshot to the other. The, the, the spectrum of mugshots, I guess. Um, this is one when you find. We, all right. The headline coupled with this particular mugshot. It's doubly disturbing because you're immediately asking questions you don't want to know the answers to. Sunderland Tesco thief stole 22 tubs of Lurpak, that's butter, worth 95 pounds while on suspended sentence for cheese raid. 
And that sounds jolly and What's merry, What's with right? all the butter theft lately? Well, here's the mugshot of the guy who stole the butter. That is not the guy. What, that is, that's unsettling. Because the first thing you got to ask yourself is, what is he doing with the butter? That's, that's the, 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 that haircut is straight out of an ironic Guy Ritchie movie. <laughs> 22 tubs of butter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a thief with a taste for dairy products. I don't think that's the issue here. Stole 22 tubs of butter while on suspended prison sentence for pitching, pinching packets of cheese. It might be. Keaton Pearson put 22 tubs of lure pack into his bag at Tesco and left without paying. Newcastle Crown Court heard he had previously been given a chance to keep his freedom after, quote, taking several pieces of cheese from Heron Foods. Last July, he was given a suspended jail term for that offense, during which he grappled with a manager when they tried to stop him. The worker managed to get the bag. Pearson demanded it back, or he would, quote, stab him, but eventually left empty-handed before returning a short time later to apologize. I mean, at least you said sorry, I guess? I mean, I like cheese too. <clears throat> but you're not going to cut I'm not a gonna stab right? anybody. Yeah. I'm not going to cut a bitch over some cheese. <laughs> despite having a suspended, not that serious. Despite having a suspended sentence for that offense hanging over him, prosecutor Shada Meller said the told the court, Pearson went to the Tesco store, which he was already banned. That's he got banned from the Tesco. That's just. If you're not a world traveler, that's like getting banned from the Walmart. That's about what, like, I mean, it's not entirely. I don't but, know if Walmart, they don't have anything really equivalent well, got, to Walmart. They got, they got Asda, don't they? Like, even their supermarkets are probably Asda. a third of the size. Yeah, that's true. Well, like, there's, at least, at least in Ireland, I haven't been to England, there's no such thing as the cereal aisle. There's the five foot wide section of yeah. cereal in the aisle like they don't have the fucking carnival of food that we do they have pro they don't they have prawn flavored potato chips it's weird and they do have nutrigrain bars that are called elevensies anyway um pearson of high street easting easington lane uh, who has 71 previous convictions admitted. I want to know if they're all dairy related. Are they all dairy related? It's just stealing cheese and milk and, and butter and creams. What the because fuck? What if like, we need to write this movie. Okay. What if he's like a fucked up version of British Popeye? Like picture this greasy kid with a bear haircut and a track suit. But if he eats Dairy. He gets super strength. Lady Meanshaw on the channel says, I can't believe it's not felonies. <laughs> and the downside is he's lactose intolerant. Right? <laughs> oh, the smell. The smell. We could sell oh. this movie. Just that is, that is that is you you don't want to know what he's doing with the butter, Tara. That's that look at that, the, those eyes. That's whole, that's you don't want to know what he's doing with the butter. You don't. You don't. I think he's fighting crime. That's my theory. Yeah, a lot of So we're remaking Banana Man kind of. Tara, if he's fighting crime, then a lot of 13-year-olds with gym socks are fighting crime as we speak. Um <clears throat> They're not using butter. Don't use butter. That's a lot First of, of butter. All, that's a waste of butter. <laughs> it's a lot of butter, though. All right. Next He's probably up. shoving it up his butt. How? How are you shoving <laughs> butter up your butt? It will melt. It is not that solid. Please think physics, people. That's not uh, possible. Even if you freeze it, your body heat will melt it. Uh, ne York. Next up. Uh, if you're going to... We, we've covered this many times. If you are going to commit the crimes, 
you want to keep a low profile. You do not want to attract attention to yourself because, well, that is a quick way of saying arrest me. This butter sticks will also melt. <laughs> it doesn't matter what shape the butter is. Your body heat's going to melt it. It's not going to work. You can try on. it. Tara, for fuck's sake. You're not going to hurt on. yourself trying. Go ahead and try it. Dad, we're, mo we're moving on. <laughs> moving on. They're arguing with me. If someone Stand can stick a pool noodle the up their ass. The doors, the please pool noodle doesn't on. melt. The pool noodle... The pool noodle has structural integrity. <laughs> the butter does not. <laughs> Science, kids. I'm sorry. We're moving on. Thank you. Ah, anyway, it comes from Columbus. And maybe. Just maybe, if you are driving around, essentially surrounded by felonies, the last thing you need to do is be firing off fucking lasers. Lasers, laser beams, lasers, meth, and aircraft don't mix in arrest of Columbus man. Columbus man was arrested Saturday night after a Bartholomew County Sheriff's deputy observed him aiming a laser at his patrol vehicle. Several reports were received by the Sheriff's Office over the last week regarding someone aiming a laser at aircraft in the area. Uh, on Saturday night, another report came in, which prompted Sheriff's deputies to be dispatched to the area of the airport. But the deputy was unable to find the source of the laser. 20 minutes later, traveling on US-31, the deputy observed a green laser emitting from a black passenger car. At that time, the laser was pointed at the deputy's car. So right there, you're saying, come get me. Just come on. Hi. Hello. Fucking also hi. You're specifically not supposed to shoot the deputy. <laughs> Duh. After traffic stop, the driver's identified as 49-year-old Christopher Clem of Columbus. During the investigation, two lasers were found, along with methamphetamine and crushed prescription painkillers. The deputy also recovered a handgun. Clem admitted the deputy that he was firing lasers at planes flying overhead. Now, this, this whole thing of shooting the lasers at the planes. It's not funny. What are you trying to accomplish? Because there's only one outcome of firing the laser at the plane that would be a result. And that is if you crash the motherfucker. And then you have killed a lot of people. A lot of people. But no, here's the motherfucker. He's got a pile of drugs and a gun, and he's been firing. Why would you get the deputies? At, why would you fire it at the deputy? They're not cats. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be cute when they chase it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, shit. <laughs> not how it's gonna work out and it's one of those other things i don't think people appreciate how fucked up those green lasers are like red it's it's all it's all a matter of wavelength it's all a matter of physics and how light works and whatnot green lasers will burn through shit it's it's not like oh, i didn't know that you didn't know that um look up look no. up uh uh there, there are videos on youtube about people who can they, they go through paper they go through balloons they will burn some shit that's how dangerous they are to your eyes. And you fire at someone's that that is like that is the the no fun blind forever kind of shit. Cause yeah, green lasers are not to be fucked with. Like they used to sell those the, the like what is it, 20 years ago? Sell those like ultimate lasers, and they're like cutting shit and setting fires with them, and anyone could Isn't buy them. Just a 
tiny little lightsaber then? Well, it's 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 not going to go through skin, but it will blind your ass like forever. Even the red ones can do that, but they take a second or two. The yeah. green ones are just like. <clears throat> they have you're... actually a photo of all the crap they pulled off this guy. Yeah, this has got. Wow. And a vape had to have the vape. Of course, had to have the vape. Just just lasers and piles of drugs and guns and. Not like, fuck- take up knitting. God damn. <laughs> Oh, next up. This is from uh, Nashville, the Vanderbilt University Divinity Library. <laughs> this is this. Oh, my. We just got amazing mugshots this week. I got to say, especially paired with the stories. Oh, boy. Mark Cowart slips cuffs thanks to Lube after pleasuring himself in Vanderbilt University Divinity Library. How did they not see that? I'm not going to finish the sentence. I'm not going to make the pun. How did they not anticipate that is what we'll go with. 25-year-old Mark Cowart was booked on February 6th for masturbating at the Vanderbilt University Divinity Library. Officers responded to a report of a man on the second floor watching pornography on a library computer. Already we're in a weird place. Yeah. That is like this this strange social aggression that I cannot... It's like, it's not a moray, it's not a taboo. I don't know where it falls between those. But it's, it's, it's sort of, it's, it's very primate-like. You, you almost certainly have a phone. (laughs) You got a phone. They have bathroom stalls. Come on. Pornhub has an app. Don't you people have phones? (laughs) Officers then received a second call that he was now actively masturbating. When officers arrived. They observed Coward sitting at a computer watching porn with his sweatpants pulled down and his hands in his boxers actively masturbating. The officer tried to handcuff him, but he was able to slip away due to a, and this is a quote from the story, an unknown substance on both hands. So we don't even know if it was lube. It might not have been lube. It was. Really glad I didn't finish that sentence. When he was finally arrested, he admitted to masturbating inside the library because he was, quote, horny. No kidding. I mean, 25 year old guys. Yeah, it happens a lot. It's it's all the fucking time. But. Most dudes, most of us, manage to not start spanking it in the fucking library. The you can't library. just go around humping things like an untrained dog. You know what they do when the dog does that? They get the dog fixed. Mm-hmm. At least seven people witnessed Cowart masturbating inside the library. Officers noted... There was an M&M tube located near the computer, which contained a glass pipe and tobacco and probably some other shit. He was then transported to the downtown detention center for processing. This is you for the rest of your life, bro. Yeah, you're on a registry now, bro. Yeah, because you did it where other people were watching in public and. Anytime you're and 25 is way too early to do this shit to yourself. I mean, if you ever do this shit to yourself. Because now, whenever you try to do anything in life from now on, they're going to Google your ass. And Mark Cowart, that is not exactly a common name. So this is this is what's this this goofy ass mugshot of you look. You got let's blow it up a little bit. Enhance. You, you were go. hoping to go into a research based career. You can you can just say goodbye to that. Yeah. 
that's yeah yeah this the 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 look on his face that gormless expression is killing me right now yeah or <sighs> know what i mean Vern? all right <laughs> uh this one and the fact that this is california la no less blowing my mind Teachers have been getting a lot of unfair shit in America lately. Undoubtedly. Just, yeah, that that's without question. Most teachers and educators have not deserved just the mountains of feces just being shoveled on top of them. Fucking moms for liberty and crap like that. However, always the ex exception that proves the rule. Always the fucking exception. This, oh no. California principal on leave after pretending to shoot kids during drill. Principal at San Gabriel Elementary School was put on leave of absence by district administrators after pretending to shoot kids and announcing that children were dead during an active shooter. Lockdown drill. Dude. Incident, which is under investigation by the school district, occurred Wednesday, Washington Elementary. Elementary. I want to point that out. Elementary. Not middle school. Not high school. Elementary school stops at like 10 or 11. Little kids. Parents and staff members told the kid uh, at the school told KTLA that Denson pretended to shoot students during the drill using her fingers to represent a gun and announced that seven children had been killed. She proceeded to walk around the campus and pretended to shoot people she saw using finger movements and banging on windows. What I heard, she said to one of the students, boom, you're dead. Superintendent, uh, the Jim Simmons, superintendent of the San Gabriel Unified School District. Confirmed a statement Friday. The district was notified about concerns from parents. Uh, after initial investigation, the district determined the drill did not appear to be conducted in line with either district guidance or recommended best practices. You think? You don't say. <clears throat> right now. No, I don't know how old this person is, but like yeah. Gen Z, Xenio, like we played this game when we were kids. Right. Ha ha, bang, you're dead. Ooh. We weren't watching our classmates get shot literally all the time. All the time. We weren't doing lockdown drills in case of getting shot all the time. Like, this wasn't a thing. No, it, this is hard to believe that this whole school shooting shit didn't start till, like, it's like the first one that really until got... weird until the, the uh, assault weapons ban expired. Yeah, I mean, the first big one that everyone remembers is Columbine. That's the first one. And that was like, when that um, happened to us, we were like, what the fuck? Yeah. We we had a shooting at my high school, my senior year. One kid like shot another kid's finger off. It was a personal dispute, but that was a big fucking deal. Yeah, right. I mean, now it's like the kids are seeing this like fucking uh, Connecticut. Kids are seeing this shit all the time. They have nightmares about this. They're yeah. told to worry about this. So, like, they're informed that anytime... maybe this is a generational issue that, like, you don't get it because you played Bang Your Dead when you were a kid. That's not funny to today's kids. Like, that's they, just life. They are told that at any time someone's going to walk into the school and that's it. You have got to and just hide kill everybody and hide in this room and don't make any noise and. Follow these instructions and just, just, just maybe they pray have like you little live. collapsible panic rooms that you can install on classrooms now. We don't have to worry about this shit. No. This was not on our radar. So maybe, maybe you're of an age where you don't understand, but I assume that as an educator, you've heard about it as a problem. You're doing the drills. This is the kind of principle. I can tell you just by this, this, this level of judgment, this is the kind of principle that everyone hated. Yeah. Mostly the staff. 
because this is the kind of principal who is coming up with ideas and everybody gets one of those memos and like, oh, shit, now what? Uh, oh, man. We're not going to say who. Someone in the chat was like, I'm pretty sure school shooters won't target elementary schools. You just. You just go ahead and live in that fantasy. Welcome it seems back. happier there. Welcome back from the coma. I hope you're readjusting to uh, everyday life. You're probably not in America. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this last one, this is actually hilarious. This, this is. So we're going to start with, uh, I'm going to describe what happened. And then we're going to go into the video. And then we're going to go into the police report. Guys, don't like dogpile them. So what happened was this. Car had been stolen. Reported stolen. Police had pulled over the car. They had gotten out of the car and gone over to confront the people in the vehicle and, uh, and bring them out. Rest. And then an acorn fell on top of the cop's hood and all fucking hell broke loose. Oh no. And cops are kind of like chihuahuas where loud noises are concerned. Go. I'm on a lag. I'm hit. I'm hit. And he's screaming, I'm hit. I'm hit. What? Get out of that. I'm in the car. I'm in the car. Oh. <laughs> no one was hurt. Nobody was hurt. Wouldn't be reporting on it if they were. I'm good. I feel weird, but I'm good. I feel weird, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There's a very evil, amused squirrel <laughs> in a tree. Investigator Hogan showed Deputy Hernandez still photos taken from his uh, body cam video of the incident. He showed the frames where the acorn first comes into frame and the subsequent frames where the acorn can be seen bouncing off the roof of his patrol car. Deputy Hernandez asked, quote, acorn? Investigator Hogan answered, quote, acorn. Deputy Hernandez was offered the opportunity to watch his body cam footage to see the sound match the acorn hitting the roof. And he declined. Yeah, I, I wouldn't either. You're like, you know what? I'm good. This was literally a plot on the wire. This was literally a fu I think what was this season two? Season two of the fucking wire. Here's my thing. Is this was Prez. This he, was he emptied a whole clip. A whole at clip. What? At death the car. If you even if you really do believe that someone is shooting, clearly you don't know where they are or where they're shooting from. You don't have a target. And bless his partner, because she's there like reacting to it like shots had been fired. She's calling it in. She's like, oh, shit, we shots fired. We got an officer down. And he's just he has not. I want to rep report again. He has not been shot. The acorn didn't even hit him and yet he's screaming he's been hit he's fine but he like feels i can weird. see mistaking the noise but to just open fire at nothing is fucking concerning like state farm is getting this call like no no um no uh-uh this isn't on the policy anywhere and it, no. We would like to not be your neighbor. 
the fuck? Lowe's not going to take your calls. I, and, and his partner's like, I, I believe that he believed. She's trying. Oh, she's trying. So I feel the impact. My legs just give out. <laughs> the impact of what? You're no, like, I have heard accounts of people being shot that like they don't feel it right away. Maybe like I've read accounts of people getting shot and not realizing it until they feel the heat of their own blood. Maybe because you're in shock and the adrenaline, but maybe there was like three molecules of fentanyl in the air and they came into contact with his skin. Maybe that's what happened. I felt an impact on my right side, like upper torso area. So he, like, convinced himself he'd been shot. And listen, like, that must have been terrifying for him. My question remains, what the fuck were you shooting at? You're emptying a clip at nothing. I, Someone this... pointed out in the chat, it has long since scrolled, but it's true. Hairdressers have to do more schooling and safety protocols yeah. than cops. Yeah. Yeah. I work in a hair salon. That is true. And they have to constantly like re up their certification. And while it is true, they have some amazing chemicals in a hair salon that could utterly fuck you up. Still not a gun. Still, still yeah. not a gun. Estheticians, like you need more schooling to pop people's zits than you do to pop people's skulls. Just shooting, just firing off. Just, just. Fucking acorn. Fucking acorn. It's amazing. We wouldn't be laughing about it if anyone had been hurt. It's amazing no one was hurt. It's yeah, that is that is the hand of God just reaching down and blocking those bullets because Jesus. So uh, the first thing we learned is if you're in America, you better hope a squirrel isn't feeling excitable because your ass might get shot over it. And they can be. When I was a kid, we had a hole row of trees on my block that you not to bike under because the squirrels would throw acorns at you they were little shits they are they are little shits. they're mean little fuckers they they yell too they they they, they, they they'll come out and bitch at you they 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 like oh my god have you ever heard a squirrel bark it's so scary yeah um uh, the when cats go near we got neighborhood cats when cats go near them they give them they give them hell they read them the riot act from yeah. way up in the tree it's weird like, they're cute, but they're fucking mean. The they're like little Kardashians. The squirrels are plotting. <laughs> um, we've learned that uh, if there's a principle that everybody kind of is like, uh, maybe take that as a warning that shits could, get, could escalate eventually. We've learned that if you're, if you jerk off in the university library. Lots of bad things are going to happen that are forever. These are forever things. Like, I'm sorry your roommate never leaves the room. That must suck. We talk There's about, a shower stall. We talk about forever chemicals. These are forever felonies. Even after they're done, they stay with you. They just, they, they follow Like, you. we always joke that there's no such thing as your permanent record unless you jerk off in public. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's. Um, we've learned that um, if you are just driving around with every single kind of crime, maybe don't be like signaling the cops with a fucking laser. Like, were you going for some kind of Guinness record? <laughs> Most crimes committed at once. We've learned that, that there is some, for some reason, people keep stealing large quantities of butter and we don't know why. It's going to be our dystopian currency, I bet. 
Fucking butter. When society finally falls, we'll all be trading butter. And finally, we've learned some days someone's just going to drive their truck into the fucking ocean. That's it. That just, just, there you go. Yeah. Do you envy that guy just a little bit? He did seem so happy. Maybe he knows something we don't. Are you just a little bit jealous that his psychotic break seemed so fun? Well, now the only one he hurt was his truck. As psychotic breaks go, pretty baller. Now I'm sad. <laughs> you know, I have a truck. I'm just saying. <laughs>